YouTube, what's up? How's it going? Today I'm out here with two of my really good friends. This is Brett, right up here. There's Brett. There's Amanda, right back there. All right, you guys. So anyways, we're out here and uh, we are, today, we are doing a few things. We're catching bait, but we're catching croaker. And I have heard that a lot of people like to eat croaker. And we're gonna see how good that these guys taste. Amanda right now is, uh, let me tighten your drag a little bit. There you go. You hooked up? So you guys, right now, we are slaying the croaker. Amanda is the croaker smoker. All right, y'all. This is how easy it is to catch croaker on these bottom rigs. So, yeah, so you've got your pyramid sinker right here. Uh, got your little hooks right there. With the So these are blood worms, what we're using for bait. And if you guys just want to catch fish, you're at the beach and you're with friends, family, and all you want to do is just catch fish. This is what you want to do right here. Take a blood worm, tear it into pieces. Yeah, it's a little bloody. It's a little gross, but that's what the fishies like. Just take it and just put it on the hook. I like to just wrap it around the hook a few times just like that so we got one right there one right there blood worms are pretty expensive so tear it in little pieces here you go amanda and amanda's going to demonstrate how to catch a croaker oh yeah yeah all right y'all so there it is super easy that was like probably 10 seconds if that bang bang boom Dang, he hooked up twice. Sweet. Hooked up again. Double. Nice. The double. <laughs> All right, y'all. So these right here make for excellent cobia bait, shark bait, really any predator or fish, even like bull red drum bait. That right there is going to make an excellent um, fish taco. These croaker are also in the same species as red drum, so they fight pretty hard. As you can hear when they're croaking, uh, they, yeah, it's kind of like the same. They're like drumming, so same thing. There's our live well. <laughs> Just kind of want to go around the hook a few times. Just like that. All right. All right, y'all. This is like croaker number 35 of the day. Is it fighting good? That's Sweet. Nice. That's why, because we got two of them <laughs> that swallowed the hook. Dang. This fight was cool. And we, and we got our bait back. Okay. Blood warmies. Y'all can catch anything on bloodworms. Flounder, trout, redfish, striper, everything likes bloodworms. I'm getting bit up. I got a fish. All right, y'all. Hooked up on a croaker. Feels kind of heavy. All right, y'all, so uh, just got back and we have uh, quite a few croaker. This is actually just kind of a sample size. And I'm pretty excited to try some croaker, even though uh, to fishermen, anglers, kind of more of like a trash fish because it's they're just more or less like a nuisance, especially when you're trying to catch like uh, sheep's head or uh, redfish or anything else. But uh, croaker are in the same species as uh, red drum black drum so um and trout so i'm pretty excited to check out the meat and just uh give it a taste test this is a fish that you guys if you're just going to the beach and um you're not catching a flounder and you're catching croaker or you're catching bluefish then hopefully this video will help you all out because um yeah i know a lot of people actually fish for croaker so they actually like talk pretty highly of uh the taste of croaker so all right here we go Stop talking. Let me start filleting. 
Dude, this guy's kind of got some like goo on it. Look at that. Ew. See that? It's got like slime. Bay you? <laughs> nah. And you're gonna eat those? Yeah, I'm gonna eat them. So are you. Oh. So, this is the first croaker that I'm gonna fillet. And I'm actually kind of, I think what I'm gonna do for this catch and cook is I'm gonna make like some like fish nuggets. So just kind of gonna get some small fillets off these fish. And uh, I know it's probably gonna be a lot of filleting on my part, but again, these fish, super easy to catch. Uh, easy to fillet, but you know, it's kind of, you gotta uh, work to get as much meat off the bone as possible because it's obviously not a big fish. So just looking at the meat, um, actually looks pretty tasty. Um, let me go ahead and clean this piece up a little bit. Got some pin bone. Yeah, so the meat looks pretty tasty and um, just like a, honestly, like a smaller, like filet of redfish, honestly, is kind of what it resembles. Um, so I'm just gonna, what I'm doing is just kind of normal fillets, just taking it off the skin. And there it is. So that's one croaker filet, one side of it. And that's like, I don't know, maybe one or two fish nuggets. Yeah, so I don't know. It's pretty easy fish to fillet. Meat looks good. Um, nothing too out of the ordinary so far. A lot of filleting. A lot of work for a little bit of nugget. That's right. But, I mean, look at that. That's not a bad looking fillet right there. We might be onto something here. That right there is a filleted croaker. Here it is, This, these are our croaker fillets and kept them pretty small because it's just gonna be me eating them tonight and we're just going for a taste test. I actually saved the rest of my croaker for some cobia bait, hopefully for later this week. But anyways, there it is. So these are our croaker fillets and the way that I'm gonna prepare these is I'm just gonna do some little like fish nuggets. So I'm gonna, you know, make them into a, I'm gonna make a little batter here. It's super easy. So all I have is just one cup of flour. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And we're gonna need some baking soda. So for baking soda, I'm just gonna do one teaspoon. All right, y'all, so we're gonna do uh, half a teaspoon of sugar. One egg. Don't you be eating all my eggs now. <laughs> Two thirds cup of water. I'm gonna sprinkle in some cayenne pepper. I'm gonna do some garlic. Can't ever go wrong with garlic. And of course, Old Bay. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so here's our little mixture right here. And we are just going to, we're gonna mix this all up. And it looks like I'm gonna need to add more water because that's getting way too. I almost forgot. A little bit of lemon juice. Squeeze that in there. A little bit meaning a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here, you can also add some beer to this and that also adds a little bit of flavor. But we currently don't have any brewskis in the fridge right now. All right, y'all, so here's our pot of olive oil and we're just gonna bring this to a simmer. Pretty easy. So we're gonna take our little croaker fillets here, dip them in our batter. And then let them cook. So when y'all are cooking these, you want to keep them separated because the fish, as you put it in there, it'll start sticking to each other. So you really want to have, depending on the size of your pot, you know, you don't want to load it up too much because then they'll all just clump together. So we're going to let these cook just a little bit longer. We're gonna wait to see when they get a little bit of a bronze, kind of brownish texture to them, that's when we're gonna take them out. But it's not looking too bad. So when y'all transfer your fish, uh, you do wanna have a little paper towel action on there because the grease uh, will you know, kind of get all over your plate. So you just wanna have like a paper towel when you transfer it. But, there's our first uh, croaker fish nuggets right there. 
All right, y'all, so here's our little Croker Nuggets, and um, I know I've added some Old Bay to the batter, but you can never have enough Old Bay. So feel free to give a little bit more Old Bay on your fish nuggets when you pull them out. And there it is. These are our little Croker Nuggets, and they smell very nice. Okay, taste, test, Croker. Engage. And no gaminess to it at all. Check out that white flaky meat. That's pretty dang similar to your drum. And I would actually, I'd actually put this more up with like, I don't know. Red drum and black drum, very, very similar. All right, y'all, so yeah, I mean, I don't know why, like I've always kind of wondered, like, you know, you'll see people like on piers and beaches just keeping like tons of croaker, and I've always wondered, you know, like what the heck they're doing, does it actually really even taste that good? And definitely does. No gaminess to it at all, I'm not gonna lie. I was very skeptical, about as skeptical as the bluefish, um, but, I would definitely recommend that. So there it is. This is very easy. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. That's pretty much it, y'all. Um, you guys are catching croaker, you know, they're not just good bait. Actually, makes for some pretty dang good food. So that's all I got you guys for this little catch and cook experiment. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, if y'all have any suggestions on any videos, any catch and cooks, then let us know. All right, y'all, so there it is. Those are my croaker nuggets, and those are done right, so highly recommend it. You guys, get up off your butt. Go catch yourself some croaker. Peace <laughs> out.